What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon 11970 And as always, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video. All right, guys, let's get into a new topic. Uh, first thing I want to say is the video that I made yesterday. I'm going to do a part two of that maybe tomorrow or another day from now. And I want to say that we've had some good responses with that. So I want to have more uh, audience participation, so to speak. So um, especially the way people handle themselves. I mean, it was an interesting topic, but most people were very respectful, gave their points of view, and uh, there was some good debate going back and forth. So that's the kind of stuff I want to see. So with that being said, let's talk about uh, some agendas. And they're getting pretty obvious to spot at this point. I don't know if you could see them, but I'll point these out and you basically see for yourself. Now, since I've had my old channel, Barn on 11967, I've been talking about the fact that movies, media, television is basically has tons of messages that unless you know what to read, you'll never understand. And there's also plenty of agenda pushing that most people said are, is crazy or being paranoid. Now, I've showed a couple of movies where they show examples of this stuff. But I want to show one of the more popular shows that have been around since I was pretty much a teenager, and that's The Simpsons. Now, I'm not going to show any clips or anything because I don't want anybody to flag the video for copyright infringement or YouTube to try and shut the video down. So as long as I don't show any images of The Simpsons, I don't have to worry about it. But you could see that The Simpsons, which is one of the more popular family-oriented shows for the past 20-odd years... They've had their share of agenda pushing throughout their time. And, for example, I'll give you two quick examples, then I'll show you some recent ones. I mean, you look at the episode where they were talking about the stone cutters. Well, we know that was pretty much those of us who research this stuff know that they're actually talking about the Freemasons. The famous New York episode where the Simpsons go to New York and Lisa Simpson holds up a magazine that shows the Twin Towers as an 11 and right to the corner of it, for some reason in the middle of a magazine, it says $9. So it shows 9-11. Now, of course, this happened before the 9-11 event, so there was a lot of controversy about that, even to the point where they actually took down that episode. Um, I live in New York. I don't remember ever seeing a magazine where they show a price right in the center as a focal point of a magazine. And I've never even to this day seen a magazine that expensive. But people can draw their conclusions. If you look at some of the latest episodes of The Simpsons, and I'm talking this season, season 25, so it's the 25th anniversary, the couple, the last couple of episodes, episode 11 and episode 12, I'll show you where they're just basically pushing agendas so the average person who watches the tell of vision and gets programmed from watching television programming will have a family show that the parents and children will sit down and watch all together. They do it on a Sunday because they know the majority of families are going to be home. And it's a prime time slot where families can all watch together. And it'll show some of the programming that the average person will just see and say, oh, I want to be a part of that because the Simpsons are talking about it. And the Simpsons are popular and I want to be part of something popular. It's that need to be a part of something instead of being an individual with the ability to talk and expand your mind and be able to question things without being ridiculed or at least not being able to accept the fact that you'll be ridiculed. Most people can't handle that. Let's go to episode 11. Now, episode 11, if you haven't watched it, I watch it because I have Hulu Plus. I don't watch cable network TV. I don't want anything that has to do with with mainstream media or anything that has to do with programming. So, But on occasion, I'll watch a TV show from either Netflix or Hulu. And episode 11, now they don't specifically call it Google Glass, but we know what it is. They change the name a little bit, and they have a computer glasses that Simpsons gets from um, his boss, Mr. Smithers, and everybody in the plant gets them as a Christmas gift. And every they show how Simpson, Homer Simpson loves this new device, or how they can get all this information and see all these different things, and he thinks it's a great invention to the point where he's even sleeping with it in bed. And they show at the end of the... Um, or partway through the middle of the show, they show how um, 
Smithers ends up lifting up this screen and there's a whole bunch of television monitors where he can view every single employee that is wearing those Google glasses. Now, for those of us who are in the know and actually research and pay attention to what's really going on outside of mainstream media's propaganda and silence, we know that the NSA spies on people. This is a proven fact. This is not paranoia. This is not fantasy. This is not wishful thinking or just taking a wild guess. This has been proven that the NSA spies on us. Having Google Glasses with a live video feed would pretty much show that the government can be able to spy on wherever you are as long as you have those glasses on. And they're showing it in that cartoon. But the first thing that they do is before they even mention the part of Smithers opening up that that area and spying on all of his employees, they show how cool it is. Like it's the latest technology. It's something you have to have. So children being very impress impressible, impressionable, this is why I never edit my videos. I like to keep them real. They're so impressionable that they will see something like that from a popular show and tell their parents, well, I want that. And it feeds people's brains with that, oh, I got to be part of a group. I got to be where everybody else is. I got to do what everybody else is doing. So the Simpsons are talking about these Google Glasses and they're enjoying them. So I want to do it. And they don't really pay attention to later on where they're actually telling you that those glasses, pretty much the sole purpose of those, even though they are entertaining and they are informative, they will be used for corrupt reasons. But most people just have an attention span of approximately a goldfish, so they'll only pay attention to the first couple of minutes of a show. So let's go on to the next one. The next one is episode 12. Now, if you've watched that episode, if you haven't, I highly recommend it. What are they talking about? They are talking about genetically modified food. Now, they don't use the name brand Monsanto, but the name that they use is maybe one letter off, maybe two letters off from Monsanto. And they, they have Lisa Simpson, who is supposed to be the smartest one of that family, give thumbs up of how beneficial genetically modified foods are. And at, towards the end of the show, they don't talk about how corrupt it is. They don't talk about how evil it is, even though they give little hints of how deadly it is with a couple of jokes they do. So like I said, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. But what they're doing is, again, they're showing in the beginning of that show on a popular show that all families are pretty much going to be watching, where Lisa Simpson, who is supposed to be the one that researches things, who is the intelligent one of the family – says that she looked and researched into genetically modified foods and approved them and said, it's perfectly fine. As a matter of fact, she tried to help Sideshow Bob. Oop, all of a sudden, hmm. sorry about that. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm being silenced right there. She was trying to help Sideshow Bob to create new organisms with it. But again, they show how Sideshow Bob, he ends up using the genetic the genetically modified material to try and turn himself into a superhuman. Well, hmm, genetically modified foods can potentially disrupt or change the human DNA. So they're giving subtle hints. The average person that watches TV on a regular basis, and I used to be one of them until I started becoming a free thinker and started researching things and learning what's really going on, you would be very susceptible to what television was basically portraying at that particular time. Once you wake up and once you realize these things, they're very easy to see. So if this doesn't prove to you that shows have an agenda and they're trying to convince the masses that certain things are not bad and they're cool and they're popular and they want you to be a part of it and they show you the benefits of how they are, like the Google Glasses. Again, even though they don't specifically say that name, we know what they are. But they're talking about how fun they are, how informative they are, how much all the employees are having a great time. But in the end, they show how they are being used to spy on people who are wearing them. But most people don't pay attention to that part. And they use jokes to kind of kid around with it. And it's the same thing with the um, second to last episode that they've aired, which is episode 12, where they're talking about Monsanto. And they make the whole thing about being cool, 
about it being great for the future, how it's going to help society, even though in the end of the show, one of the evil characters used the genetic codes of this material to alter his his DNA without specifically saying that. So I'm going to leave the video at here. I would love to hear your comments about this. If any of you know of any other shows or any other movies or anything that you want to list in a comment about what you feel would be about propaganda, put them down. So show this after a day or two, after you see a bunch of those comments, show this to people who think that's silly or think it's paranoid or think it's crazy or think it's tinfoil hat wearing material. Well, if you see person after person commenting about, oh, this show does this and this movie says this and it's all about propaganda, well, the writing is on the wall. So at this point, it's no longer paranoia. Because even if you look at something like the movie The Avengers, where they were trying to find where the Tesseract was, and they're on that flying ship, and um, they ask, you know, how can we pinpoint and locate this? And one of the, um, the people that worked on the ship was saying, well, we have access to everybody's phones. And they were saying that if there's a phone, they can get information. They did the same thing in one of the Batman movies, where he used people's cellular phones to be able to find the Joker. So they're basically telling you all the information you need. But if you're asleep, and I don't mean physically, but I mean mentally asleep, you're just going to think that's entertainment. You're not going to see it for people trying to give warnings to the people that can receive them. It's like war. When you have a coded message, the enemy can have that code right in front of them. If they don't know it's a code, or they don't understand the code, or they can't decipher the code, the code is useless. Let's see what you have to say. Put your comments of all the different types of shows, movies, songs, artists, anything where you believe there is actual proof like I've shown, where they're trying to push certain agendas. The more people that post, the more we'll see that this is something that is not a fantasy. It's very much a reality, and it's about time the average person starts seeing it and opening their eyes. And then you'll understand the following saying, I once was blind, but now I see. Thanks for watching. Peace.